this is something that's circled the internet for quite some time now, and it's always been pretty amazing to me the way that Stan talks about Spider-Man and the different ways um, that Spider-Man could have failed and almost did fail. We almost never had a Spider-Man. And that's pretty amazing to me, being such a Spider-Man fan in all facets of my life from when I was a kid to um, the early 2000s to the mid-2000s with Andrew Garfield um, in the 2010s, and then now with No Way Home about to come out and the trailer being leaked yesterday, um, August 20. Third, it's pretty amazing. So I wanted to just kind of dive into this and talk about it because of some cool stuff that kind of happened today. And before we do any of that, check out the intro. I was told to say an anecdote. Anecdotes are easy. So I thought to myself, what kind of anecdote can I tell these people who really have more important things to do? And I figured I'm gonna tell you how Spider-Man came into being. It's, it's a true story, although sometimes it's hard even for me to believe it. We had already done the Fantastic Four and I think maybe the X-Men, I can't remember the order, but my publisher came to me and he said, Stan, I want you to come up with another superhero. I thought, what can I come up with now? And the most important thing in a superhero at first is the superpower. Once you get that, everything else comes along. So I thought, what power will I give a new guy? And I saw a fly crawling on the wall. And I said, hey, if I could get a superhero, that could stick to walls and crawl on them, man, that would be cool. So I thought that was good, now I needed a name. So I said, well, let's see, Fly Man, Mosquito Man. I got down to Spider Man, Spider Man. It just sounded dramatic. So okay, I had my hero, I had his power, his name, and then I figured just for fun, I'm going to give him personal problems. Then I thought I'd make him a teenager, because there were no teenage superheroes that I knew of at the time. So armed with all that wonderful material, those great ideas, I ran into my publisher's office and I told him. This was my reaction, the reaction he gave me. Stan, that is the worst idea I have ever heard. First of all, people hate spiders, so you can't call a hero Spider-Man. You want him to be a teenager? Teenagers can only be sidekicks. And you want him to have personal problems? Stan, don't you know what a superhero is? They don't have personal problems. So we were about to kill the magazine. It wasn't selling well, and we were sending the last issue to press. When you do the last issue of a magazine, nobody cares what you put in it because the book is dying. Just to get it out of my system, I put Spider-Man in Amazing Fantasy, feature him on the cover. A month later, all the sales figures came in. My publisher came racing into my office. Stan, Stan, you remember that character we both loved so much, (laughs) Spider-Man? Let's do them as a series. Now, why am I telling you this? If you have an idea that you genuinely think is good, don't let some idiot talk you out of it. If there is something that you feel is good, something you want to do, something that means something to you, Try to do it. 
because I think you can only do your best work if you're doing what you want to do and if you're doing it the way you think it should be done and if you can take pride in it after you've done it no matter what it is so don't let idiots <laughs> talk you out of something that you think is good just do your thing do it as well as you that's the important thing don't shirk whatever you do give it your best shot you'll be glad you did exactly <laughs>
as I go into this new school year and another year of teaching and how excited I am to do all of that, I can't wait to see all the successes that I have, my students have, and just the people around us have. Because when you don't just say, oh yeah, we're going to take this at face value, it's going gonna, it's gonna to fail, it's going to flop, it's going to whatever you want to call it. You will figure out in the gray of it all, when all seems like it's just going to be horrible and going to go down the drain just like they thought with that magazine way back in the 60s that let's just throw in a character that no one's ever heard of before because as Stan said, no one cares what you put in a dying magazine. No one's going to read it anyways. And lo and behold, we ended up coming out the other side with one of the greatest and just all-time most interesting superheroes and most relatable superheroes of all. So with all that being said, I hope you enjoyed watching this. I get the chills every single time I watch this video by Stan. I'm going to do another video um, with him as it gets closer to his birthday. Um, and then also shortly before that, uh, remembering Stan on the day that he passed as well for everything that he meant to us comic fans, whether you're Marvel, DC, Image, Aftershock. Stan is a true comic creator who wanted to create for the love of creating. And you can see that in this video. And I wish that he could have been one of my creator videos that I did for an interview or even had met him at some point during his life. Um, but being able to see videos of him talking about his craft is almost as good and hats off to you Stan I know that you're looking down and you're excited about where Marvel's taking your characters and even the ones that you might not be so excited about I truly hope um, that you touch those writers and those artists in a way that allows them to put those characters on a path that you would appreciate with all that being said, again, um, thank you for watching. Hashtag Loungers Unite. And it's been an absolute pleasure having you. Um, we're almost at 1,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for helping us reach the milestones we've reached this summer. And if you want to watch more videos, I'm going to highlight my creator interview um, right here. That's going to be the creator interview with Rogue Comics. Then I'm going to highlight some of my shorts over here. And a video just for you that has been um, picked by YouTube. And then as always, if you have not already, please go up here and subscribe. Thank you. Have a great day.